What's up guys? Today we are playing a horror game. This is my first on my channel, so yeah, hopefully this goes well. This is my first time. I downloaded it last night. I wanted to stream it last night but I was tired, so I'm gonna do it now. <sighs> okay. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. I saw some reviews, they said it was good, graphics was good, so I didn't see much, I just saw the graphics, it looks very good, so, I don't know, I, I just wanted to start something new I on the channel. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. I just wanted to start making some new videos, new games. Sorry I've been so slow on uploads lately. Our Wi-Fi is not at its best state. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Okay. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh shit. Oh yeah. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. A shiny key? Probably for Maybe a door. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Go down, or... or I'll just go straight. Guys, letting guys know I'm not a fan of horrors, like, at all, so... No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Who the fudge sticks is walking here? Footprints. Oh, look a deer. Book. So, book. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Who the fudge did you come back to this place? That only the house knew the answers to. Who the hell would have come back here? Look at this shit! What the hell? I wouldn't live here for a billion dollars. Hell no. Oh, if you would have wa walked through the forest, you'd still... Come on here. The hell up, bro. Exactly My like channel. I remembered it. The way I've been dreaming about it. One ugly as hell. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I think I, I got this game for free on PS what the PS4 month, in May. So yeah, this is a free now, game you can get this month. As a 17 year old, month. I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh, shit. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, hell no, Looking I hate in, these types of I felt of like stuff. the house itself had been waiting for me. Okay. You guys know this game is a bit old, but yeah, this graphics is quite good. Not too shabby. Uh, what do I? Okay, I probably have to look for a door. Can I sprint? Alright, zoom. Zoom. Probably garage key. Don't crouch or anything. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. It's not that it's dark as a horror game. So yeah, let me guys, let me guys, let me know if you want more horrors or just comment down below which game For you want to see. the first time in years, I felt like I was home. 
shit. Oh, at least it isn't. But instead dark. of a family, there were just memories of one. My mommy, or her brother. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Now where's the cat? The cat's probably dead. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. The fudge? Oh, we ain't going in there. That bitch is super glued. Can we open it from this side? Oh, my this? mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Sounds of horror game crew. Oh my goodness. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. You see, we, when I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna get scared of the girl's voice. Who's this? Edie. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Hmm. Oh, hell no. I hate these types of houses. These freaking wood shit. Just walking, everything's cracking. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. Basin. So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay, awesome. Great-grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Damn, this mother trucker built this house? Oh, hell no, that's grandma's chair. Oh, God, sick After Milton stupid. disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This is quite a cool room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Damn, that's good. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Stand up, bitch, you're not that tall. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Kitty cat. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. This is probably her room. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. It's not her room. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Okay. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh, guys, this game is quite nice. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Well, I woke up and nice. I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay, it's like a play black of... Playback of some other kids or the other family members. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Oh, 
starfish bug Marley, Eddie. The game looks full, I wanna admit. Jeez Luigi. Can't see anything. Gonna take a pool. I ate a lot of things that night. The heck? I'm just gonna look out the window. Someone standing there. And just, oh. I kept eating and eating. You're not gonna eat toothpaste. Girl, you could die. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Where's the gerbil? Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! The hell? Oh, there you go. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I'm here, birdie. I'm hungry. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. <laughs> okay. This feels good, bro. This game feels, feels great. She was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Damn, that's bird. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Got 
got it. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Hey. to the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh, this is cool. I, I have to admit this, this. I wanted fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Everything had changed. Okay. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Oh, that's weird. This looks so cool, but it's smell went into an old pipe. This game is very good and I want this I like this monster thing. The toilet. I knew it. I got closer and closer. Room again. All my stomach started growling, and suddenly I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. It's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Okay. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. 
It's a weird ass journal. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Okay. Her room was like a museum. So I'm only gonna do like for an hour, hour and a half. The Finches video. have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. Then I'll stream the next part and whenever I get a chance. Make sure I look to it again. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Took the whole house with him on a but boat. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. So, little brother is like at the top. Almost at the top. We just need Edith. I don't know. I, sp I think I'm Edith. I like girl is Edith. Join the great majority. Go on. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Okay, that's fine. Disgusting pink. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Ugly ass bathroom. It's also sealed up. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Okay. This family was messed up. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did.
How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. This bitch is gonna and fly. Maybe he'd still be here, but I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Jeez, bro. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. family had some major issues. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. 
her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. This was his father's blood. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I'll beat the shit out of you, this crush bitch. Walter, are you there? Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned. Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. And was, he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. They played her part beautifully.
doesn't move me. But she sensed this story might not be over yet. they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Okay. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Really, dude? <laughs> Lame ass joke. Edie Barbara. told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Who's Edie? Okay, Edie is also there. Barbara, 1944 to 1960. Ooh, she wasn't even out. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Wait, so that shit was true? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Wait, is there not like a sensitivity option here? guys will be able to see well if you guys can't see I can barely see myself this game is quite dark here it's funny all those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key
There we go. I knew. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Damn, girl, your mom was cray cray. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Damn, this place is dark. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I can't see anything. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. This is Walter's story, I guess. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Was this like during the war? Like the bomb is falling and stuff. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. I think it was like during the war. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. You're already in the basement, dude. How far do you want to go down? Whoa. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. Monsters. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Damn, I broke through that wall. I'm going wall to appreciate there. all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face.
Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. <coughs> I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Mm. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> now that there's so only one dark. of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Walter? What's up? Bitch, you did. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. That's not creepy. And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Walter's story was the sadist. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Yeah, Walter's story was quite sad. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it nice what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house that's quite weird it's embarrassing for me to admit this but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault Damn. So many pits. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly, Kevin, Sven, Eddie, Walter, Harbor. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on. But for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Mm. 
Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory, Sam, and Gus. Damn, this family was big as shit. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Sanyakuma, this fish. Give me that crown. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Jump, bitch, jump. I never met Grandpa Sam, but... I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Yeah, so I was a military man. Oh shit. Got Sam's story, I guess. Over here. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a life. Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Where you at? What? Where you at? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. There you are. That's the spirit. Smiled on. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Your bell is. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Wow. 
what I should be taking a picture of. Should have taken a picture of the goddamn bird. Come on, man, what the fuck? I'm not here to fucking post photo autograph and shit. I think I can take a picture of this thing. Take a, pic take a picture of the log. Art. Take a selfie, can I flip the can I flip the camera? Uh, nothing quite like being outside. Hmm. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound like I'm done? Mm. Hey! I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Oh, poems. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found
found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? gonna be the entire video just take pictures of something Dad. oh God, shit gone book before you take the shot let me get a picture of you oh where you at dad i, I... just breathe Shoot the buck. Yeah, that's nice. I have to do this. Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. I don't shoot ready. the buck. I don't shoot it. Ugh. Great shot, Don. That's not nice. Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's. That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. Oh, shh. That's what you get shooting a book. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. It's what you get for shooting a book. Break through the window like James Bond. That would make sense, jumping on a bag of flowers.
That would be logical. Jump on. Here we go. I'm dumb. Just didn't look everywhere. I really don't hope there's like monsters and stuff like that pumpkin guy. Otherwise, I'm gonna. Yeah. After I Sam died, know. my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Gregory, baby. Gregory. Baby died. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Sweetie. Okay, ma'am. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what I saw. What his world was like. the world he saw. Oh no. Are they going to die? There's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. About everything. But I know what happened. 
happened wasn't your fault. Sam. Oh, he has a baby John himself. That ain't, that's not good. He was only one year old. That's bad. Okay, I think I'm only gonna go to the next save, and that is it. Okay, gents. Oh, people that is viewing this I will see you again in my next episode cheers I will be probably tomorrow or on the next weekend hope you guys have an amazing week and until next time